Hey students and parents, this week for math, we're gonna take 3D shapes, take a cross section of those, and see what shape we get. The first shape we're gonna start with is a 3D pyramid. If we take a horizontal cross section of that 3D shape, we'll either get a square or a rectangle. If we take a vertical cross section of this pyramid, then we will get a triangle. Next up for an example, we have a sphere. If we take a 3D cross section, either horizontally or vertically, Either time, we'll get a circle for a cross section. Next up, we have a cone. If we take that 3D shape, take a horizontal cross section, we will get a circle. And if we take a vertical cross section of this cone, we will get a triangle. This graphic here lists the different shapes and the type of cross sections you'll get. On the left side is the shape itself, the 3D shape. So we have prisms, pyramids, cylinders, cones, and spheres. Their net makeup is the shape of their sides and their bases. Perpendicular is another word for vertical cross-section, and parallel cross-section is another word for horizontal. So now I want you to eye gaze, reach point, vocalize, or have someone hand over hand assist you in looking at this 3D shape. What happens if we take a vertical cross-section of it? What kind of shape would we get? What if we take a horizontal cross-section of this 3D shape? What kind of shape would we get? So we talked about different types of 3D shapes and what happens when we take cross sections of them, both vertically and horizontally in the 2D shape that it makes. I'll be posting these slides as well as some practice pages for you to work on. And if you'd like me to post more information, let me know and I can do that. If you'd like to do a Schoology lesson with me on this lesson, just click on the link.